Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own duckboard and you're only going to need a few tools. You're going to need this Amcraft V-Groove tool. Um, it's typically known as the red tool. And you're also going to need the Amcraft blue tool, which is a shiplap tool. Mine's a little beat up, but it works fine. You're also going to need a duck square like this one. You're also going to need a staple gun, a squeegee, UL listed foil tape, and fabric tape. I'm going to go ahead and make a duck that is going to be 18 and a half by 14. We're going to have to go 5 eighths of an inch past what we want to do. So I'll bring it up to 19 and 1 eighth. And I'll take the red tool and I'll go ahead and bring it up the side of the, uh, the duck square and I'll just ride that side all the way up to the end of the duck board. I'll go ahead and demonstrate how I'm going to do that. Just slide it right up the side and then I'm going to move over to 14. Remember it's going to be 18 and a half by 14. So I slide it over to 14 and I put the right side of the cut on 14. You can see if you pull it back you can see the yellow it's lined up with the 14 on the square and then you just take your red tool and you do the same exact thing you did on your first cut. Just slide up that edge. So I'll demonstrate that. I'll finish the whole uh, duck for you real quick right now. So this is the 14 and now I'm going to go up to 18 and a half and do the cut again. Ride the side up on the duck square and then I'll go up to 14 and now I'm going to be using the blue tool which is my shiplap tool and that's going to be my final cut. Alright so here I go. It's a little tough on the blue tool. Uh, it's because you have so many blades going through it but you just push a little harder and it goes right through. Um, I'm going to, since I have so much board left at the end, I'm going to go ahead and finish up a little bit of uh, return duck I got to build, which is like an 8 by 6 Alright, so this is what the blue tool looks like after you finish a cut. It's got about, it, well, it has three slices. It has the right side and the middle and the left side. Um, you want to not mess this up. So pay attention. You're going to want to cut the right side only. So the middle and the left side are very critical to the shiplap. So only cut the right side of those three cuts. And this is what it looks like when you cut it. Uh, just stab it through the middle and pull back. It's real quick and simple. Walk around your board. Don't step on it. Don't be lazy. Finish the cut up and toss out your extra if you have any. And then you got to remove the V grooves and the two pieces for the shiplap. And always, always make your job easier. Always try to get two pieces out of a duck if you can. You know, cut it while you're on the ground. You don't want to have to set back up and cut again. So now I have to uh, fillet the duck. Um, I'll show you in a second. After you cut with the shiplap tool, sometimes I'll leave a little bit of extra. So just score it down on the uh, the flap and then you're going to want to fillet it and as long as you have a decent knife like my knife's pretty dull honestly but any decent duckboard knife will cut just fine you know and you don't you don't want to have a whole lot of extra mass so just go ahead and cut it 
see this one already cut pretty good with my blue tool but there's always a little bit to fillet never skimp on perfection always try to get it as good as you can uh, now we're gonna tape up the duck so this is where you need your foil tape and your squeegee this can be a little tricky uh, sometimes the board wants to snap back at you um, so just go ahead and put a little bit of tape on your flap that you just uh, filleted and fold your duck up put the uh, the tape down you might want to push a little bit just to keep it square it's gonna to want to spring back sometimes because there's so much pressure on it and I do it in three tapes so I'll tape the end the female end first and work my way down to the male end push it on the flap and then pull it tight always pull your duct tight loose joints look bad and sloppy so you always want it to look nice Go ahead and finish this up. Now you're gonna see. Notice how I uh, I kept the the male end nice and flush. You're gonna want to do that. Now just take your squeegee, squeegee it down. You'll know when it's squeegeed when you can see the uh, the little lines through your tape. being a little dramatic with this but you get the point and that's a finished uh, duck pretty simple uh, now we're gonna go ahead and put the fab on you do this after the foil tape and then you're gonna mastic it we use 181 mastic you just gotta staple it on Now it's ready for mastic. And that is a nice square duct. Um, it's going to be 18 and a half by 14. So right here you'll see 14. And right here you will see 18 and a half on the money. Thanks for watching.